What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the demo for the Tarnishing of Juxtia. I don't know how to pronounce that word, alright? You throw a bunch of X's at me, I just get really, really, really confused. Especially when they follow letters like J. And so anyways, the Tarnishing of Juxtia, I'm just going to say it wrong the entire video and I apologize. I don't, I don't have a translator available. I don't have anybody to correct my grammar here, my phonics. And so anyways, this is an action RPG that seems to have a pretty cool art style. The demo is freely available right now to anybody that wants to try it out. Uh, the game is slated to come out sometime this summer, so the summer of 2022. And so there's a strong chance that I'm featuring this demo at like a really, really bad time. But honestly, I've got a workflow, I've got a list, and I kind of get to it when I get to it, when I arrive at that point on the sticky note. So here we are. We're going to check the game out for about 25-30 minutes, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this video you did want to get this little action RPG for yourself, you can do so at the link that I'll provide for you down below. You'll also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live. But let's not waste any more time of our 25-30 minutes. Let's dive on in and see if the game is cool. I'll do my best to give you my thoughts along the way. Hey, look at that. There we are. We're like a little guy. Uh, we can press R to heal. All right. Yeah, dude, let's do it. How much did that did that cost me anything? Oh, I like that little attack animation right there. Like, they've used kind of like a sprite-based ragdoll in order to assemble, like, the character and his animations. But they've actually got the perspective arranged really, really well so that it doesn't kind of look stiff while still maintaining those ragdoll-like qualities. I am playing the game with a keyboard here today. The game is fully available through controller usage if you want to do that, if you prefer it. Uh, we can press shift. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. I'm going to climb on up here. We'll shift through that right there. So obviously I think our dodge roll is giving us some iframes. The valley above was overtaken by the tarnishing years ago. Hey, how you doing? Oh, never mind. She left me. Rip. The story of my life. I'm going to have to walk past the undulating bucket of body parts, aren't I? I can tell I'm going to enjoy this experience tremendously. Many people fled to this place, but it offered no refuge. Okay. Are there, like, secrets and stuff that I need to be aware of here? Like, if I bust out a wall, am I going to find, like, the mega super awesome sword of laser fire plus 12? I don't think I'm going to find the super awesome mega sword of laser fire plus 12. I had to pause briefly for a second there because I couldn't exactly remember what I said. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, okay. Yeah, they got that big overhead right there. Impact feels really, really good on the weapons. I like it. There's a very, very slight screen shake that they've put in right there. A lot of games overdo it with the screen shake when it comes to kind of accentuating like a hit marker for a character. This game's got it like in the right spot from what I've seen from those two enemies right there. It's very, very slight. Not enough to disrupt the visual plane of the game, but at the same time, it's there enough to kind of like make the sound effect kind of pop a little bit and work in, I guess, cohesion with the audio design. Ah, a new face wanders into the Forlorn Sanctum, a rather dreary place to be exploring. But you're no sickened wanderer seeking to flee the tarnishing, are you? No, you're a bit more unique. I can feel it in your aura, though the very specks writhing through the air around you. I've been waiting for something like you, unique one. I have power for you, knowledge of speccraft, the art of forming the ethereal into the physical. The first of many should you continue to seek me out. Go on, give me your hand. There's no need to be afraid. Nah, dude. I don't want to touch you. You look you're like a big old tar monster, bro. Yeah, see, that's not how beings that are friends with one another take each other's hands. If I go in for a handshake and some eight foot tall monster uh, made out of weird rags just picks me up off the ground by one shoulder and then jiggles me around like a nunchuck. No, dude, absolutely not. The price of this power is too high. I don't like the beginning, like the embarkation of this relationship. 
Uh, seems a little bit physically violent, not gonna lie. There we are, good. Taking to your bindings well, I see. Go, unique one. I am quite sure that this won't be the last time that we meet. Aha. Uh, we've learned how to do a divine bolt. Okay. Oh, it allows me to Kamehameha wave people? Okay, never mind. This was the best transaction that I've under ever undertaken in my life. All right, we'll light you up, give you a little bit of that feeling right there. Yeah. Climb on down these ladders. I do like that they animated the climb animation right there instead of, like, just making you drop through. We got a treasure chest on this side. What you got? What you got for me? Ooh, armor? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Uh, it looks like the controls in here are all on the keyboard. I would recommend, if nothing else, that mouse controls be implemented inside the menus. Uh, it just makes things a little bit simpler, especially due to the fact that the game uses W, A, S, and D in order to move your character. Spacebar makes you jump. Shift obviously makes you dodge, but left click is already implemented in making you swing your weapon. Right click is making you fire. So obviously some mouse control has been considered over the context of the UI design. And so just put in like a little, put in like a little pixel art mouse in here that allows me to click on these various slots and whatnot. It looks like we've got a spear. It does a lot more damage. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Uh, back is escape. Okay. Uh, we've got a helmet. We've got an armor. We've got some gloves, and we've got some booties right there. Do we look different now? Oh, we do. Badass. Hell yeah. Uh, this is one of my major checkboxes for video games. Does my armor show when I put it on? We've also got, like, a different set of attacks here we can mess around with. So basically, like, two light stabs and then a long thrust to play around with. It does give us... Oh, okay. Yeah, ate that one a little bit. Ate that one a little bit. One swaps your weapon. Does it, though? Does it? Was I supposed to... Oh. Uh, cool. Looks good. Hello? Bad guys, would you like to fight me? I would like to participate in honorable knightly combat with you. Uh-huh, what did that do? It's an energy rush, a temporary increase to your mana and stamina regeneration. Okay. There we go, just get these dudes lit up. Got one for you. I'm just gonna fall back for a minute. Yeah, just kinda like, hang tight. I'm going to murder you. You are going to accept this murder right to the side of your dome piece, and then we're gonna get along just fine, so long as you submit and die. Uh, is there any type of secret or anything over here? No, it seemed like the kind of place where there might be a secret. Oh, it's an elevator! I stupidly tried to drop through that with, like, down and spacebar. That soundtrack, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, some, some beautiful work right there with the parallax in the background, the pixel art. Maintaining a little bit, so if you notice, the foreground has a lot of detail and a lot of subcolors that go along with the color palette, but the background is very much kind of minimalist pastels and whatnot to give it sort of that misty depth look. Looks very, very nice. I like it. Greetings there, knight. It's surprising to see someone alive and unplagued out here. My name's Lilith. I'm a knight of St. Trallium's border guard, the last of my order. My brothers in arms all fell to the tarnishing after our lord was sealed into his keep. Now there's only me, upholding my order's oath on my own. A heavy burden to be sure, and one I cannot fulfill so long as this door remains closed. There must be some way in. Once I've had a moment to rest, I'm going to set off again to try and find it. Of course, I'd not mind a helping hand if you're able. You could have just handed it to me. You don't have to throw it on the ground and make me pick it up. I don't know. It just seems a little disparaging. Like I'm a human being. You can treat me like a human being. Can't break any of this stuff. I do like the contrast right there between the greenery and the natural nature versus kind of the things that have been corrupted and turned red. Hello? Good use of saturation as well. You can cleanse your bindings in the pool. Okay. I don't even know what a binding is. And so... You know, I'll do it because the tutorial said to do it, but you guys are doing that Dark Souls thing where you don't fill me in on to what, like, the important terminology means, and so then I'm confused for the rest of the game 
and like desperately reading every item description, hoping I come up with some kind of resolution. There we go. We just give, give him a little. Oh, did somebody just shoot at me? You did, sir. You shot at me. Here, let me shoot at you. Oh, he does not get stunned at all. I thought that like hitting him with a massive energy blast would maybe take him down and make him like stagger. I was wrong about that. He was built of sterner stuff than what I initially surmised. Uh, we do have some loot right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it. We've got the Juxtian Greatsword. Okay. The question becomes, though, do we really want to rock two very slow weapons simultaneously? The attacks all feel very, very nice in this game. They feel good. Like, they feel like they've got weight, and they feel like they've got impact. However, I've got, like, a serious wind-up that I have to play around with in order to hit these kids. Uh, we've got crumbling stuff happening right there. It doesn't look like I can break the boxes. That's a shame because I love a little bit of environmental destruction and fragmentation happening over the course of kind of like a battle. Uh, we do have loot up here, provided we can outrun the platforms that are breaking underneath us. And then it looks like we've gotten ourselves a new outfit, the Hunter's Garb. How does it compare? Let's have a look. So we've still got the helmet or whatever. The Hunter's Garb, it looks like we've maybe got like... Slashing, stabbing, magic, and maybe impact are the four different resistances right there from the little icons that they've given us. It looks like this gives us a little bit less, but it does give us more stamina points. Uh, so we'll be able to carry on the fight a little bit more aggressively. It looks like the gloves, and it looks like the... There's really no reason then. It looks like there's one armor reduction for the gloves and the boots, but you do get extra SP, and you keep the same resistances. So to my eye, that seems like a pretty good trade uh, to mix and match, since we don't really know... Since we don't really know... I feel like this set feels flatly better to me. Is there fall damage? Doesn't look like it, but we didn't fall from the full height either. I really like the look we've got right now, though, when we're just standing around. Like, it looks like it's got kind of like a little furry hood. And, like, I prioritize any armor in any video game that allows me to have a rad hood. That's just... Ow! That was stingy. Okay, yeah, we're just going to duke it out then, I guess. Give me a little heal right there. We'll travel back on up. We've got some doggos that we've got to play around with. I'm going to dodge roll like a maniac, but I don't know if it's going to help. Oh, the enemies have, like, collision. Okay. I'll zap blast you then. Shoot your shot, bro. Get it done. Oh, I killed them both with one stab. Nice. I need to figure out how I get my charges back on healing. We're pretty beat up right now. Like, this game is actually pretty tough with the reeds. Oh, this guy's about to smoke me, isn't he? Okay, can't get him from right there. I'm going to wind up a long stab right there. Looks like we've got a nice opening on that side to just kind of break him down. And it looks like we've got an energy charge going on. That's allowing us to get our mana back. He's going to do like a... Oh, he didn't do the little combo right there. Oh, you can break people's shield, though. It looks like they have poise. Okay, so that little yellow meter right there is basically the same thing from Sekiro, uh, where when you get it down to zero, it causes the enemy to go into kind of like a stagger stance, basically. And you can light them up with, like, big damage. Uh, the Juxtian Brute Sword. What's the difference between the Brute Sword and the Normal Sword? We actually didn't try out the Dagger, either. So it looks like it's maybe something in between, like, a Great Sword. Yeah, it is. It looks like it's a two-hander, but it's got the agility. So basically, it's kind of like a long, thin blade that exists somewhere in the space in between a great sword and a normal sword. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, he turned his shot. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Oh, he turned on me again. I was trying to find an opening right there, but man, we're going to have to read that room a little bit better. And so obviously we're going to drop all our souls on the ground and we're going to have to fight our way back through stuff that we've seen. This is not a gameplay loop that I personally am particularly like a huge fan of in the world of gaming. And it's become something that's very, very tropey. Like I just, I don't like replaying a fat chunk of the level to get back to where I was. You're like, meh, give me a checkpoint that's closer. You know what I mean? It's okay. I just dodged through all the enemies and ignored them. 
That's what I always do in games like this. I literally refuse to clear the same area twice. I just, I flat out don't do it in anything that Souls like influenced. I cleared it once, that's good enough for me. I'm spamming the dodge key all the way through. Iframes for the win. We're gonna speed run back to where we were. All right, big guy, what you got for me? There we go, give me that breakage. I'm gonna fall back for a second. We're gonna bait that out. See what he decides to do. Give him a little love tap right there. Maybe not eat that secondary strike. There we go, drop him real fast. Now we gotta go into the next area and see if maybe we can do a tad better than last time. Uh, I do have a jump strike, which is actually pretty cool. Basically, I want his little buddy dead about as soon as possible. All right, break that up right there. The game does cue your inputs. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I don't like cued inputs. Uh, I tend to prefer triggered inputs, basically, so that I can spam the key, but with like a rhythm that basically lights off the attacks. That's just what I prefer. There's nothing wrong with queuing up inputs. I want to make that clear. It's just a stylization that I personally do not prefer. Queued up inputs always weird me out. I do like this weapon, though. It exists in, like, a really nice middle space between a heavy weapon and a light weapon. Let's play around with the dagger since we haven't seen it yet. I want to show you guys as many weapons as possible while we're playing through here. So we'll try out the dagger. Uh, the dagger is obviously incredibly speedy and a lot lighter on your SP. And so there's definitely going to be a certain type of player that gravitates towards that. It me. I'm that player. I tend to like the dual dagger builds and things in games. Uh, we probably have to go down, like, over to here, go down to, like, right there. Yeah, I've played Donkey Kong. I know how this works. All right, boys. Okay, okay, okay. This also works a little bit better for me, too, because with the queued inputs with faster attacks, it doesn't matter quite as much. Basically, you get punished less hard for just spamming that left click. But yeah, this is definitely my speed as far as weapons go. I think I like the dagger the best so far. It also, I think it cues up your heals. So if you spam the R key, it's going to use up all your heals too. And so just keep that in mind is that it seems like uniform across the game that just about every input seems to be, to be queued up basically. To the next tile. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, gooey things, banners, tumors growing out of the ground. Yeah, this is all completely, what are you? You're a boss, aren't you? Yeah, you're a boss. I knew it. Oh, you're impaled on a tree. Oh, you're not a boss. Hello, are you a knight? Oh, blessings to Juxty at last. One who isn't a gibbering lunatic or fanatical hunter. I was starting to fear there were none left. Have you come to free our St. Trallium? Tis about time. He's been sealed within the keep for far too long already. They entrusted me with protecting the last remaining key to that place, but there it is. Little I can do with it at the moment. Go ahead and take it. Set our saint free so he can finally fight against this hideous tarnishing. The valley key. Does that let me into the castle place? Probably lets me into the castle. I'm curious what happens if I jump off that ledge right there. Uh, it's been a long time since our last save point. Um, YOLO! Oh, okay, nothing bad happened. It just teleported me back up. I didn't take any damage or anything else. Fair enough. I, I'm a secret hound. I have to do stuff like that. I can't help myself. All right, so at the Valley Tower, we can go ahead and level up. So that's going to be the classical way to do things, sort of Dark Souls style. I do like the iconology that they've used for everything. It looks really, really good. I also like the way that it uses the color scheme to imply what you're getting out of these stat increases. So basically, the thing that you're getting highlights without them having to tell you, really. They do tell you. They double up on the tooltip and also on the UX. But the UX is very, very nicely done. I can't tell you how much I wish that other games would do exactly this right here, where it not only gives you a box telling you what happens, but also it lights up all the parameters that are going to be increasing if you put points in. Love it. 
Uh, let's go ahead and we will go for... We'll go for a little bit of dexterity because I like the idea of running daggers. So we'll take that up a little bit. I'd like to have maximum SP lined up as well. Just to kind of like, I always boost the hell out of stamina in Souls-like games. I just, I can't resist the urge. I love having a huge amount of stamina. Largely because I tend to run sword and board builds. As far as abilities go, what do we have going on over here? So we've got relics, we've got brands, and then we've got gifts. We don't have any of those to slot in, so we don't particularly know what those do for right now. I like that screen wipe, too. It's a really good-looking screen wipe. And if I remember correctly, this should drop us down. Oh, no, this is actually a completely different place than I thought we were. All right. I got greedy. I should have gone for two. I got greedy and I went for three. I wanted to ace one of the wolves as fast as possible if I could manage it. Oh, he's got more HP going on. All right. We'll do like a little cut leg thing right there. Can I jump far enough to get this ladder over here? I can. Very nice. Oh, I messed up. I messed up and I tapped the space bar. I, I, part of me thinks that a controller would be far more conducive right here. Just because platforming can be kind of difficult using W, A, S, and D. We've got the Soldier's Knuckles. Oh, that's badass. So they gave us like a... Yeah, they gave us like a Kestis. Hell yeah. It looks like South Park fighting. Thought this was America. What you want to do? I thought this was America. All right, let's go back and open up the gate. Doesn't it kind of look like Randy Marsh when he gets into fights, though? That's, like, exactly what it looks like to me. It looks like Randy Marsh whenever he gets into a fist fight. I hear no bell. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you discover a means by which we can enter the keep? My saint has waited long enough. Such a long time alone and trapped. No fate befitting a hero. I believe that I did. No confirmation on opening the gate. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping we'd have like a little conversational confirmation that we had opened up a gate and that we had like done something. Uh oh. Oh, what's up with you, man? Okay. He's got like a little stompy boy. There we go. We got the armor breakage. Oh, got a little greedy right there, but I didn't get punished. It looks like you get, like, magical recharge. Oh, he doubled up. He hasn't done that before. Okay. All right. Give me my healing back real fast. Get him with the... Oh, what was that? Okay. Yeah, he hadn't done that ability before. There we go. Give him the breakage. Get some mana back. Did he drop anything? Yeah, that guy had, like, four or five different moves, and he waited a little bit to break out, like, number four and number five. That little flip kick move that he did, dude, it threw me off like crazy. I was like, oh, I messed up. I'm about to get punished. That's what punishment looks like right there. Luckily, it missed because I was just, like, flailing wildly at buttons trying to get out of the way of it, as a true professional does. But, you know. Oh, there's guys here. Okay, yeah, don't like that. That's kind of a small platform to be beefing with these dudes. Okay. Oh, he's not even like a boss. I thought he was like a mini boss or something. Oh, he got me with the... D oh, I got impaled. That was the worst. I hated every moment of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I'm gonna... You know, we don't hit very hard. Maybe I'll try out the Kestis here. The Kestis seems like a knife, but it's a little bit faster, and it looks like it gives us more impact damage on his focus bar. Or, I'm sorry, on his, like, stability bar. So it seems like it hits a tiny bit harder, it's a tiny bit slower, but it gives you way, way more chunking on the stability bar. So as throwing them nuts tends to do. All right, let's take it up to the next level. I like that crumbling noise that they've got on the platforms right there. Oh, I could have gone to the left. I didn't even notice. Is it going to come back? Okay, it's going to come back. Good. Uh, we've got the... Ooh, a rapier. Dude, this game is pushing all the right buttons for me right now. 
Oh, dude, I love rapiers. I can't help it. Like a little foil or something, or like a little epe. Yeah, dude, that's the good stuff right there. Ow, I've been wolfed. There we go. We'll drop them real fast. I don't know if I should go. Oh, there's more of them. Unfortunate. Ow, dude. I'm getting styled on right now. Oh, my swing goes over the top of him. That's what's going wrong. I was like, dude, why is this dog not going down? My swing goes over the top of him because the hitboxes are precise. Dude, I keep I keep eating that that one two three combo. I don't know what it is about that one two three combo. I think it's because it opens with the same slash as his single slash. He gets me with it every single time though, dude. And I just I never learn my lesson. I eat that thing like a delicious deli sandwich every single time. Just smoked with it. Oh, I got knocked down. Okay. Yeah, don't love that, sir. Okay, now, I, now I've got the rhythm down. No, I'm going to keep on attacking, bro. I broke your stability. That means I get to keep attacking. Here, eat a couple of these fireballs straight to the face. I'm like the king of the Hadouken out here. This Hadouken! Hadouken! Okay, a little stompy boy action right there. He's going to swing. That's the double swing with the stab on the end. I'm starting to memorize it. I just needed to pay attention a little bit better, which honestly is my bane in games like this. Uh, but this is the char the tarnishing of Juxtia. I am pleased. I am not displeased at the moment. This feels pretty good. It feels pretty solid. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, it was the tarnishing of Juxtia. Tomorrow, it will very likely be something else. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to play some video with me and check out some new indie titles. I hope you have liked what you've seen so far. I think that the animation looks great. I think the game looks great. It controls great. The impacts feel good. The soundtrack is nice. Everything feels very, very high quality with this one. I, I can't really find anything to complain about except for I wish there was a little bit of mouse control in the menus, but that's about it. That's like the only thing. Oh, I almost ate that. Uh, that's the only thing I've seen so far that jumped out at me as something that I think should be remedied. And even that, like it controls fine in the menus. It would just control better with a little bit of mouse support. I got so greedy on that one right there trying to interrupt that combo, but it worked out. So I am a professional. I'm not greedy. I'm skilled. That's how it works in these kinds of games. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. But for now, it's time for me to go. Bye-bye, everybody, and I'll return later with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet.